Hey, it's fight day. Thank God for great health and protection. But today, I choose violence and destruction. Hey, stop that cat. Hashtag Spence Ugas. Hashtag Showtime Pay-Per-View. Hashtag the biggest fish shark emoji. Thank you to everyone who's tuning in on TV or coming tonight. I will show you instead of telling you my appreciation. These are the last words of Errol Spence Jr. ahead of his battle with your Dennis Ugas on Showtime Boxing Pay-Per-View. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Got a lot of content. I woke up feeling great. Hopefully, you guys are feeling great. Let me know what you're eating for fight night. Errol Spence versus your Dennis Ugas. This is a challenging fight, and shout out to Errol Spence. He just gave his last words, as you guys heard at the beginning of this video, ahead of his battle. It could be a grueling battle. He said he's promising destruction. Errol Spence Jr. has Black Air Force One energy. He got the Black Forces on at the weigh-in. He looked to be in incredible shape. Speaking of the Black Forces, I made a video about that, so make sure you guys click around and check some of the other videos on the channel. I also have Boxing Ego's First Look. That's a tale of the tape, Errol Spence versus your Dennis Ugas. Often imitated, but never duplicated. So you guys gotta check some of these things. Now, one of the other videos I made was, is Errol Spence weight draining? This is not my opinion. Funny thing about being a content creator and being on the internet is you got people who, they just read a title and the metadata and assume what the video is about. But go watch the video. I, Ego, never said Errol Spence was weight drained. However, there were boxing fans and boxing websites claiming Errol Spence Jr. was weight drained. If you watch the video, instead of just reading the title, you will know my stance on if Errol Spence was weight drained. I thought Errol Spence was in phenomenal shape. Ugas, phenomenal shape. This should be an amazing fight. So join me live. I'm doing a Boxing Ego watch party about 6 p.m. tonight. Errol Spence versus Ugas. Errol, he man down. He looks back. He looks better than the, his first fight back after the car wreck with Danny Garcia. He looks dialed in, tunnel vision, and he looks like he's trying to put on a good show. Everything he's saying is uh, the right thing. I think he's doing a great job in promoting the fight. Errol Spence, I have an interview with him from years ago, and he admitted that he doesn't truly like the media obligation side of things, but he understands it comes with the territory. I give Errol Spence, and I tweeted this, and he retweeted it, I give Errol Spence a lot of credit because what Spence has done for this particular fight is he's worked his ass off in promoting the fight. I mean, he's everywhere. He was on ESPN's first take. He did an interview with Kate Abdo. He did a PBC obligation with Ray Flores and Super Zab Judah. He's on the Pivot podcast. He was on Sean Porter, Porter Way podcast. I mean, the man has been nonstop. He's obviously trained because he looks in killer shape. The man has been everywhere and doing what we know, or at least I know because he, he said that in an interview, what I know he doesn't necessarily care for, but he's willing to do it and he's thanking the fans and we'll see what his performance is hopefully it's an electric fight and atmosphere i don't doubt it is my brother's gonna be at the fight and you know it should be a great one at&t stadium big big event if you've ever been to texas and you get the chance go to the at&t stadium i've been there and it's just it's nothing like it i've been to all the events and all the venues from las vegas strip and you know the Barclays in New York, Madison Square, the Jerry's World, Dallas Cowboys Stadium, AT&T Stadium is huge. It's it's insane to think of. You know, you you don't know until you you go to something like that. It's like Tyler Perry's studio in Atlanta, where he has his film lots and you know eleven, twelve different studio setups, and they film in the Black Panther, and it's surreal to see something that big. Like the Tyler Perry, he's on several, several hundred acres and stuff like that. It's bigger than Warner Brothers. So when you when you see those things, especially f like up front, up close and personal, it's a surreal experience. So I love it at the AT&T Stadium. Texas got some of the best fans in boxing. 
let's go errol spence ugas errol spence last words also again if you like the content subscribe to my channel i'm gonna keep working hard for you guys 2022 is up errol spence big fish he lets you know what's up by the fight through showtime in him out the future is now the hibernation fives by kenichi bear hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones out of the box you can connect to any console or pc bluetooth ready with a low latency usb adapter color rgb and extreme bass mode the hibernation fives adjust to you whether you need a gaming travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.